Hello and welcome to my second tip top tool tip. Today we will see how we can use the GLSL mode to get our bake textures directly displayed in the viewport. The problem with GLSL is that only simple material settings and image textures are shown in the viewport. Complex materials and procedural textures normally show up only when an image or a sequence is rendered. But in many cases you can also bake your textures and then display the bake results when your viewport shading is set to textured solid. And now I describe how you can also see the textures in GLSL mode. Let us first examine the scene. This is a default of a star character. And this is the dress attachment to which we want to add some procedural textures. I have placed the armature and the not needed parts of the Avastar character to different layers. That helps me to keep focused on the dress. I also have added three lights to the scene to get some decent light effects, and to get an impression of how the final result might look later in Second Life. The Avastar parts are set up with texture-based materials and they contain layer textures. You can find more details about this in the adding cloth video of my Avastar tutorial series. Let's now select the dress in edit mode. I have placed two seams on the mesh. And I already unwrapped it as you can see in the UV editor. Note that currently no image has been assigned to the mesh. We will get back to this later. Let us switch the viewport shading to texture. Indeed now we can see some lighting effects, but we still see no textures. That is because in this mode we only can see UV textures, but we have not yet assigned any images to the UV layer, hence we now only see the basic material setup. If we also want to see the material textures then we need to switch the display to GLSL mode. So. We see the expected material textures on the character body as soon as we have switched, but nothing yet on the dress. Let's do a little clean up and remove the jeans layer as we apparently do not need it here. Select the lower body. Switch to the texture panel. And there disable the jeans texture. You see that the viewport reacts instantly. You can do the same for the upper body suit. Now let's take care of the dress. I first enter the material panel. I can add some color here and I can see the change directly on the mesh. Also specularity changes are directly shown on the 3D view. Now let's add a procedural texture. I use the magic texture as a demo and I use a random settings for now without going into the details. However, none of the changes in our texture setup has any apparent effect on the dress. That is because procedural textures simply do not show up in the viewport. The only way to see them is when we render an image. Or when we bake a texture. So, Let's bake the texture and see if that helps. Go to the UV editing screen. Go to edit mode and ensure that all vertices are selected. Now create a new image. This image will later receive the bake texture. Now go to the render property settings. I use a separate window here, so that I can keep the bake button visible all the time. Navigate to the bake panel. Select bake mode, textures. And then bake. So now we have the texture, but we still see nothing in the 3D view. The reason is that we have not told Blender to display image textures. We have to enable this in the texture settings, just like we did it for the character materials. Go back to the textures tag, and add a new texture at the bottom. Set the texture type to, image or movie. And further down select the just bake dress texture as the source image. 
Now we see something happens. Now don't forget to tell Blender that the image is a UV image. Otherwise we see distortions. And there it is, your textured dress. Now you may wonder if this additional image texture will break any future bakes. In fact it does not. Let's try it. Select the procedural texture again. Let's make the structures on the dress smaller by scaling them. And again you do not see any immediate changes in the 3D view. But when you call the bake tool again, then you might not get what you expect, but you get exactly what you want. The reason why this works is that the bake tool uses the target texture image as working memory. That is, while the baker processes the texture stack, it immediately sends the result of each layer processing to the image. And that means as soon as it has processed the first entry in the stack, the target image has already changed. When it now processes the second entry in the stack, it just copies the just created image into itself. And that is why our changes in the procedural texture indeed get baked to the final image, and thus get visible in the 3D view. While this is not an optimal solution, it still allows us to quickly check our procedural textures directly in the 3D view. Once you are done with your creative part of the texturing then you can export the dress with its texture into a new folder. Locate the Avastar exporter in the tool shelf. Ensure that you have checked, include UV textures, then export. Enter a new folder as target for your export. Then you find your Collada file and the final image texture right besides each other. And now it is your turn to have some fun with Blender. Have a nice day and hopefully see you later in my next video.